Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting mobile video. And today I'm going to be talking about the easiest way and the fastest way to get Ninth Metal and Injustice Mobile. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking on more videos about Injustice, so here I am. I'm going to do another one of those. And I'm just going to be touching on the points of how to gain Ninth Metal the fastest and also where to gain Ninth Metal the fastest. Some are faster than others, some may seem fast, but aren't as fast as you might uh, think they are. So I'm going to touch one of the first things on how to get Nith Metal, and that is Survivor Mode. Survivor Mode is fast and it's also hard to get Nith Metal because it's based on RNG. You might get lucky from the wheel and you might get Nith Metal. You could get it twice in a row, three times in a row, whatever. So if you're trying to get Nith Metal from there, what I recommend is only saving your credits for when you're refreshing Survivor. Now again, this is also the worst and best method because you're basically basing luck on um, trying to get Nith Metal that is not even guaranteed, it's just, you know, luck-wise. So, I mean, it's still good to refresh Survivor for other reasons, but that is one of the ways to get it. Uh, I don't recommend it because, you know, if you're not really in it for the gears or you don't really care about the level up cards and the other augments and you're just trying to get Nith Metal, um, you just want to save up a lot of gold. So as a new player, I don't recommend refreshing survivor only for nith metal if you're a new player i recommend refreshing survivor to get the gears and the augments more so of that than the nymph metal like yes if you get nymph metal that's fantastic that is great it's a good bonus but as a new player you don't really want to focus on nymph metal too much in terms of survivor so next up we're going to talk about the phantom zone the phantom zone is the easiest way to get nymph metal in my opinion along with online battle but the reason why Phantom Zone is so easy is because some of the challenges that you're doing, you're already doing anyway without really trying, you know? Like some of the challenges like tagging out or dealing dot damage. Sometimes you're not even focusing on it and you've already completed those challenges. But the reason why Phantom Zone is also not the hardest way to get Nymph Metal, um, but it's not permanent. In terms of permanent, I mean, it's not here every single day. It's here for two weeks, gone for two weeks, here for two weeks, gone for two weeks. It's not consistent. Therefore, it that's why, I, in my opinion, it's not like the easiest way because it's not always here. Um, but it is very good. Obviously, different difficulties. Uh, you get different nymph metal along with the alloy. But um, it is also a very good way. As you complete crystals, you get nymph metal. And when you get all of them, you get a, a card. Uh, either a metal card or a gold card so it, it pays off definitely um, but also at the cost when you do refresh your phantom zone you have to use nymph metal so to get nymph metal you also have to use nymph metal to refresh it and do the whole thing all over again um, so it is a very good way to gain nymph metal and not only nymph metal but metal cards as well especially doing the hardest difficulty and um, i will be explaining how to do the hardest difficulty uh, the easiest way possible, what challenges you should do, what challenges you should avoid in a separate video. Yeah, but uh, overall, that's how you get Nymph Metal and Phantom Zone. So next up, we're going to be talking about Online Battle. So Online Battle is definitely the easiest way. I think out of all four methods, uh, the last one isn't, you know, a free-to-play method. It's more of a pay-to-win method, and, you know, we all know what that means by that. But um, the Season Rewards is probably the best way to gain Nymph Metal. Um, first place... 250, second place 225, third place 200. So let's look at a more realistic uh, 200. I think that top 1% is realistic for new players. I've made a video on how to get top 1% in the past. And trust me, it is very realistic. It is very easy to get top 1% in this game. So it's all, all you really have to do is just click on the video in the description. I'll take you to how to get top 1% in Justice Mobile. And it's a very easy method. Um, if not, you know, top 2% still gives 175, but yeah, two online battles, which is two weeks, gives you 400 nymph metal, which means in a month, you're already going to have 800 nymph metal in a month, just from online battles. We're not talking about Survivor, not talking about Phantom Zone or anything like that, but in a month, if you only get top 1% every single week for a month straight, that's already 800 nymph metal. In two months, that's 1600 nymph metal. So overall, online battle is definitely the best way and the easiest way to gain nymph metal. Obviously, it comes at the cost of putting effort into this, um, but overall, it, it is really easy. Like, it sounds hard at first, trying to get top 1% every season. Some seasons might be easier than others, you know, if you have Black Flash or Flashpoint Aquaman, so I fully understand that. But for seasons like this, the Tantu Totem, let's let's see how much it's going for right past this, but it's looking like it's gonna go for like about a million. 
you know, maybe a million to 1.2 million to get top 1%, at least at the time of recording for this arena. And it might sound like a lot of points, but it really isn't when you can use a method that I use, like I said, will be linked in the description. So the final uh, method that I'm going to be talking about is, it's not really a method, it's more of uh, using your wallet. And that is, are these offers worth it? Are these, you know, 110th mil for 10 bucks, 240 for 20, 630 for 50, and 1,350 for $100. Should you buy these? Hell no, do not buy these offers. These, are, these offers are complete garbage. Um, I think that Netherrealm thought these offers were good when uh, Nymph Metal Packs first came out. Because when Nymph Metal Packs first came out, the only pack that was available was this pack. This was the only pack that was available at the time when we got the Joker and then when we got Metal the Merciless. Those were the only two Metal characters in the game, and this was the only pack in the game. After that, they really should have went back and updated their currencies because, yeah, it, I mean, even when Nymph Mill Packs first came out, this still wasn't even worth it either. Um, but yeah, overall, these packs are just outdated. Um, these packs should definitely have, like, probably even just quadrupled the currency or something like that because these packs are just straight F. Do not spend money on nymph metal packs i mean not packs but on the currency do not spend money on the currency it is not worth it don't waste your money on these these are terrible packs so yeah there's only four methods of getting nymph metal in the game and like i said in my opinion i think online battle is the best way to get nymph metal not only you gain nymph metal but you're also getting the character the card the gear card gold other gears on top of that so uh yeah that's basically going to be it um, there's not really many ways, so I didn't want to make this video too long, and I hope this helped. And like I said, there are other uh, Injustice videos in the description that you can watch as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.